Did you know that it's actually illegal to watch football in England? Yes, you heard that right. I present to you the 3 p.m. blackout. It sounds crazy, but there's actually a long-standing rule that makes it illegal to broadcast football matches at 3 p.m. on Saturdays. But why? Let's explore the history behind this. So the 3 p.m. blackout dates back to the 1960s. This idea was introduced by the chairman of Burnley FC, Bob Lord. His concerns were that televising matches was affecting match attendance. And so this blackout was introduced to protect local clubs. So how does it work? The blackout applies to all matches between 2.45 p.m. and 5.15 p.m. on Saturdays. This means that no live broadcasts of football are allowed on TV or streaming in the UK. So literally everywhere other than England can watch English matches. Talk about exclusive content, right? With the rise of streaming and changes in viewing habits, many argue that the blackout is now very outdated. Some believe that lifting this blackout could actually benefit the Premier League financially through increased viewership and TV rights. This rule was implemented when games were affordable and accessible for everyone. But since the commercialization of football, tickets to games have become increasingly more expensive. And with the rising cost of living, not everyone can actually afford to go to games anymore which means that these games are actually no longer accessible to everyone. On top of this, we've actually got a large proportion of fans that aren't actually based locally. If we look at some of the biggest clubs in the Premier League, like Man United, Liverpool, Man City, you have reported that only about a quarter of their fan base live locally. That's three quarters of their fan base that don't live in surrounding areas, which also greatly affects how accessible games are. So to say that not having these games on TV is affecting attendance doesn't make much sense in a modern world. If people if people can't afford to go to matches or travel to them, whether the games are on TV or not doesn't change that. And if broadcasting games actually affected attendance, we would see few people at games outside of the blackout. But this isn't the case. It's an entirely different experience watching a match at the stadium compared to on the TV. So I strongly doubt the appeal of going to the games would disappear by showing these games on TV. I decided to ask the public what they thought. So have you heard of the 3pm blackout? Uh, yeah, TV. Yeah, TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what do you think of this rule? Uh, not opposed to it, I think it's seems pretty sensible to, keep, to encourage people to go to their own local clubs. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it does encourage people to actually go to games? Uh, I think it's unproven. Um, yeah, I think it's really difficult to say. Like, yeah. But until someone comes up with better evidence, then I think, yeah, it's probably worth keeping. So what do you think about this rule? Do you think that it's good to have in a modern society? Because obviously when it was brought in, it was brought in so to encourage people to go to matches. Yeah. Do you think that it does encourage people to go to matches? Or do you think if people are going to watch it, they'll find a way to watch it? I think... Uh I think it's a good thing. People should go and watch those matches, especially it's not about all about the you know the big clubs. They're yeah. not gonna get the revenue, but other teams like smaller clubs, uh, like for example Luton, they were there last year, and there are like many championship and like uh, smaller league uh, clubs. The the most of the revenues come from match tickets. Yeah. So I think it's good for those clubs. Uh, but yeah, people who want to watch, there are like lots of like dodgy sites and all <laughs> where they where they can watch. So yeah, people people who want to watch, they watch. There's radio there, so I. I always True. use the radio, which yeah. is, uh, you know, especially when you're driving and all, that's a good source. That is a good source, to be fair. And do you think it should be scrapped or kept? I think it should be kept. Yeah? Yeah, I, sh I think it should be kept. The tradition continues for now. So there you have it, the 3pm blackout explained. Whether you see it as a necessary tradition or an outdated rule, it's a fascinating part of football culture in England. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should the blackout stay or should it go?